Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria, if you are new. I wanted to do a butterfly skull look. I was inspired by um, some other artists and then I also thrifted this dress a while ago and I just like loved the pattern on this and I think it would just be perfect for like a blue butterfly skull look. I also got a blue wig, some blue like paper butterflies. I'm going to kind of place in my hair so i think i think this will be a good one all right so let's get started okay so i wasn't sure how i wanted to execute the butterflies with the skull there was lots of different ideas that i found um, and my husband helped me uh, think of this one and it's kind of like butterflies coming out of the skull eye sockets. This is the most, this is like the most terrible sketch I've ever done, but this is kind of the idea. Oh my God, you can't even really see. There we go. So yeah, so we'll see, we won't see like the body of the butterfly, but we'll see like the wings coming out, if that makes sense. So to start, I'm going to block out my eyebrows since they will mostly be covered by the butterfly wings. Okay, to glue down my eyebrows, I will be using spirit gum this one is from Meron, and i mentioned this in all my videos but spirit gum is really good to use if you have unruly eyebrows for me it works a little bit better than a glue stick and it takes a second to get tacky but it dries pretty quickly after after it's tacky i like to hold them in place while they dry and then i'll use the end of a brush to make sure they are flat Okay, so first I'm going to prime my face, then set my brows. To prime, I will be using the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I will use the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer in my T-zone and a little bit under my eyes. Okay, so for the base, I don't want to do a white white base. I want to do like a bone white, like an actual skull. So I'm going to be using my Marilyn Paradise AQ palette. I'm going to be using this like lighter brown here, just a little bit of this one. And I've pretty much already gone through all my white, but I do have a separate one here that I will be using. It's the same, it's the same paint, just separate. So it's the white and then that lighter brown. I'm mostly gonna be using the white with a little bit of that brown. And these are water activated, so I just have like a little cap full of water and my paintbrush. And I'm gonna start off with the white and then maybe do like a thin sheer layer of the brown on top. So I just added a little bit of water and I'm getting it kind of creamy. I don't want it too like thin, liquidy or viscous. And I'm gonna start with my eyebrows because they need the most coverage. I'm just gonna work in sections. I love these face paints. There is a little bit of a learning curve with them. They don't blend the easiest. They dry down unlike cream makeup, which is nice. You don't necessarily need to set them, but I find to get like an even base, it's helpful to kind of just go like this in like sections. And these do act as like a really good base for cream makeup on top. I think I did that with my devil look. I did like the red paint and then the cream. So as you can see, it's a little bit streaky. These are, like I said, very hard to blend. So to even this out before I go in with that brown, that lighter brown, I'm going to use the Maron Cream Blend Stick. I'm just gonna take a little bit in each kind of area of my face. I'm actually gonna take some on my sponge so it goes, so it blends a little bit more smoothly. Okay, so now I want like a sheer layer of that brown. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the water on my sponge, a little bit of water, not the whole cap full, and I'm just going to kind of go in with my sponge into the brown. And this sponge still has some of that cream white on it. Okay, now blending everything out once again with the white cream stick. And I feel like I kind of went crazy with that brown, so it'll kind of lighten that up as well. 
Okay, I feel like this is a pretty good bone white color. And now I'm gonna set everything with my Maron setting powder. And this is the Ultra White. I really like the setting powder. Not a big fan of this packaging though. And I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush and with a light hand to not lift any of that cream makeup. I will often take breaks while I'm doing my makeup to like go eat dinner or something. And it's just so funny going out like this. I mean, it's just me and my husband, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm excited for this next break because we're going to eat dinner and continue watching the new season of Lupin or Lupin. Um, it's like a French like heist show, kind of. It's so good. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. One of the best shows ever. Okay, now we're going to start to map out the butterflies. Okay, so to explain this, this is going to be like the socket, right? The eye socket. The body of the butterfly is going to be hidden, like you're not going to see it. It's going to be like on the inside of the bridge of the nose, if that makes sense. So the butterfly will be coming out of the socket, you won't see the butterfly body, and the wing will kind of come up here and cover my whole rest of my eye, and here, if that makes sense. We'll just, we'll do it, figure it out. And I want it to be like a double wing, so you're kind of looking at a butterfly as it's resting on the side. So kind of like, you know, if that makes sense, kind of like that, where you're able to see both wings. So the body will be like here. I'm just gonna like kind of mark it so I have an idea. This won't matter later. The socket will be like here. And the wing, we want it to be pretty tapered going into the socket. So it'll start to come out. And then I'll say like right here with right here and I'm just like kind of referencing Google pictures of butterflies and a little bit on this upper wing down and then the like split of the wing will kind of go through my lower lash line the end of the socket will be like right here I want to say and then it'll taper into my inner socket and come out here I'm kind of mapping it out like how I would sketch a picture and then like the small light strokes I think we're gonna do like a classic monarch shape because there's so many different shapes that butterflies come in I'm not gonna do like the little details of the squiggly's up the butterfly away and just kind of the general shape. I just want to depth a little bit more. Okay, that's the general shape. Okay, so that's the first wing. The second wing behind it, well, it's gonna come up from like right here, right here. I'm just taking that brush that I used to apply the face paint. I'm gonna kind of fix this part here that I want to change to be more this way rather than down. And this will be all cleaned up once we add in the details. This top part a little bit more out. I know it looks rough. It'll come together. Okay, right, so I think the first thing we're gonna do is outline the butterflies in black. And I think I will use my Glisten Cosmetics Wet Liners to do that. So I have this palette here, and I'm gonna be using this one. Also water activated. I think I'll do that to get the general line outline of the butterflies and then later on we'll go in with our NYX Epic Eyeliner, Epic Ink Liner to make everything a little bit more sharp and kind of fine-tune everything. And instead of the wing being split underneath my eye, I think I'm going to make that kind of like a winged liner. <laughs> Get it? Winged liner. So kind of just going right here on my lash line. This is gonna be like gone once I do the color. This is just to get an idea. And I'm not really worried about the details because we're gonna go in and add those little ridges that butterflies have. I think that's good. And for the socket, we're gonna take it basically right at the bridge of my nose and here a little bit onto my eyebrow. A little bit. I'm trying to think of where I would like draw the eye sockets doing like a regular skeleton look. Okay, while I'm here, I'm gonna map out the nose too. I know they're a little uneven. We're, we'll kind of fix them once we start to fine tune everything. Okay, so I'm just taking that black again. Okay, so we're gonna take this. So that'll be the center and then come down the bit past that dot, connect it to the dot down here. 
but all the way through. And it's actually, this actually kind of works because this is like the general shape of the teeth that we're gonna use too. It's kind of like the pattern of like a monarch butterfly, if that makes sense. So if you kind of look at these little like pattern to it, similar. This wasn't the plan, but it works, I think. Happy accidents. Now we're gonna start to paint. So for the majority of the coloring, I will be using the Maron palette. And when I want or need eyeshadows, I will use the blend palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Okay, I want to create a blue, like ombre look for the butterfly wings. So I'm going to use these three blues here, this lightest blue, this like true blue, and this darker blue. And I'm going to start with the light blue. It'll be easier to build up the darker shades on top of it rather than vice versa. And really quickly, I'm just going to dust some setting powder on my eyelids. So starting with that lighter blue, I'm just going to take it all over that wink. Okay, and I'm going to take the second lightest blue, like that, that true blue. Let's start by taking it like right here and working it this way. Now the different brush, one that's not so like wet, you just took a little bit and I'm gonna start tapping that edge. Start to get a good like, gradient going. Take a little bit more of that light blue from the same brush that I'm using to create that gradient. Now I'll start to kind of do a little swipe motion. Now we're gonna do that for the bottom wing and the back wing, and again on this side. Okay, now taking the darkest blue and doing basically the same thing, but just not taking it as far. I'll take it to right there, maybe a little bit further. I'm gonna take this darkest blue kind of on the bottom here, and this one will take it a little bit on top, a little bit in the center as well of the wings, where like the little parts of the wings, upper wing and lower wing. Meat. I went back in with some of that true blue. Just doing what we did before. I think I need a little bit more of that lightest shade. I'm going to use a skinnier, smaller brush to get in that back wing. And I think I am going to use some of that, some eyeshadow from the Blends palette just to kind of make it smoother, make it more vibrant, kind of set the paint as well. Even though it does dry down, just kind of keep it from creasing, cracking more like because of the way it dries. And with the blends palette, we do have three different blues as well. So basically we're gonna use the same three shades, the same three matching shades, I guess. And this time we'll start with the darkest, which is the shade Spellbound. Start by taking that on the inner more, innermost part and with a clean brush kind of blending that out and diffusing it this way. Now going in with the true blue shade, which is the shade Chance, right in the center. Now with that lightest blue shade, which is the shade Dream on the outer part of the wings. All right, I think that looks so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of the wings. Okay, now I want to fill in the like sockets. Now I want them to be super, super dark as possibly, as possibly, as I possibly can get them. The only way I can think to do that is to use this liquid lipstick um, from Melt. It is like the blackest shade that I own. It is called Shade. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. Definitely use products meant for your lips anywhere else at your own discretion. Black paint is totally fine. I'm just really wanting to go for that super dark look. I'm taking it on that liner brush that I first used to line everything. I'm gonna start to fill that in. Just lightly shading that into the darkest blue. I think I'm gonna go in with white, kind of emphasize the wings a little bit. But that'll be later after we outline everything in black. 
Okay, now I'm gonna start to draw the details of the butterfly. And I also did, I finished the sockets filling them in. Um, I did kind of square them out a little bit more because they were very round. So yeah, they're a little bit more square now. Okay, so I'm taking my NYX F ink liner. I'm really gonna start to sharpen up all of those outlines. Creating that main liner. Actually here we're gonna start to create those little ridges. So no in particular like way or anything. So now we're gonna draw like the inside details. And I'm going off like this picture just from Google. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna try to kind of mimic the, I guess like the border black part. Into another little round arch here. Hold that in. And I'll connect this one to that liner on the lash line. Now there's kind of like a diamond shape. Let's say right here. And this goes down to the body. And these kind of just connect to that. I tilt my head back to get it more of an even surface. Now I'm going to create a little, a little bit of a pattern before we fill this in with black. So outline where I don't want the black to be filled in. I'm going to start to fill in that black area and then we'll add like little white dots afterwards. So I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to use the black in the Maron palette. Leaving those little blue square type pattern things. You also don't have to draw those little like squares beforehand. You can definitely just create them as you fill in the black. I decided I wanted one down here, so that's kind of just what I did. And then I'm going to add some more white little dots on that edge. But first I'm going to do this with the rest of the wings. Okay, now I'm going to add the white little dots and I'm going to use the white side of this wet liner. And I'm going to see if I can use this white liner to kind of maybe add like a sheen or kind of a separation between these two wings. On this one here too, to put on this outer part here as well. I think that's like a subtle way to kind of define things. Okay, now I'm gonna add a few white dots on the bottom. I'm actually taking my black liner and kind of going back over this little white part that I put in here. Kind of just fading it into the white to kind of get the idea. It's like a shadow almost. Make it look more like the butterfly is inside. Okay, so now I'm just going to do everything I did here on the other side. Okay. Down on the other side, they aren't symmetrical. But then I was like kind of stressed about that and then I remembered they're two different butterflies. 
so they don't need to be symmetrical. I think I am gonna later on do like maybe like some antennas coming out so you can kind of really get the idea that it's two different butterflies in case the double wings isn't clear enough. Okay, so now let's do the nose and I'm pretty much gonna do that gradient but going up into the lightest, so darkest on the bottom, and then up into the lighter blue. Again, starting with that lightest blue. Medium blue. I already lined them, so I'm not too worried about getting outside the the lines or getting on the line rather tapping to create that gradient and i just realized that was actually the darkest blue so let us actually just go in with some eyeshadows <laughs> to kind of define the gradient again okay so taking the shadows from the blends palette the darkest blue at the bottom taking the blue that darkest blue shade along the edges as well act as like some shading medium blue and the lightest blue. And I am kind of wiping off my brush in between colors and just blending those in together. Now I'll go back in with that NYX liner and I'm gonna kind of take this slightly. I'm gonna start to kind of create the like cracks in the skull. Okay, and I'm gonna add little white dots to the nose also, like take the little black areas. Kind of play around with the shape of the nose. So we're gonna start adding like the cracks to the skull. I don't want to do it here because that's kind of where I was gonna draw antennas maybe. So we're also gonna just like do the contours. So we're gonna do a contour like some cracks in the skull. I'm doing a very, I'm using a very, very, very light hand. I want them to be very fine. And I just really know why I'm a reason to this. Start to kind of thicken up some of the little areas, parts of where those lines meet. Now we're gonna draw the like contour. Okay, it's gonna be a little tricky because of how far the butterfly goes down. So I kind of really gotta get where my cheekbone is. And I'm just going to lightly curve this with my mouth. Okay, so before I do any like shading, I'm going to draw on the teeth. I'm gonna start in the middle because I know like there goes one on each side of like the center of my mouth, if that makes sense. And it's gonna be kind of similar to the shape of the nose for the teeth. And I think I'll do one more before I stop. My highlighter kind of gets plugged, I guess, or like clogged from the cream makeup. And before I move on, I did just kind of go over my lips with some of that white and like light brown paint to kind of match my face. Okay, so I'm gonna align like the inner Part of my mouth where they're like touching with black. And I'm gonna use my black liquid lipstick for that. Kind of making sure to not go in the teeth. Kind of got this tooth right here, but it's okay. So the dress that I have and even the wig, it's kind of like a bluish purple, like a purplish blue. And the dress that I have also has a lot of purple. So I want to incorporate some purple into the look and I think I want to do it with the teeth. Maybe even some of the shading. So for the teeth, I'm going to take this purple metallic wet liner in that Glistens palette. Now I'm just relining my the teeth and just kind of filling in these little gaps. Okay, wait. Pause. I feel like this is too much teeth. I'm going to remove, I think, maybe like two from each side. It'll be an easy fix. 
generally. So micellar water. I'm just taking it like on a paper towel. I think I will do one or two. Let's do let's do one on each side for now. And let's do two. Sometimes we need to backtrack and that's okay. And to fix it, we're basically just gonna do exactly what we did for the vase. White marrow paint, the cream marrow paint, and then the light brown paint. Sometimes you don't know what you want until you see what you don't want. And you can fix it. Cream blend stick. And I'm not worried about getting this makeup on like the existing teeth or jaw because we can definitely touch that up. Now I'm like, do I need more teeth? Now back in with that brown and sponge with some of that white cream and setting powder. Touching up the teeth and a little bit of that purple. Before I'm making rush decisions about adding more teeth or whatever, I'm going to add some blue to the teeth. I'm going to use this blue wet liner in this palette. And I'm adding it to the base of the teeth. Blending it in with the purple. So I am re-adding another row of teeth. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to drawing the second part of that hollows of my cheek. Take it on the same area. And I'm going to do a purple and blue gradient in here. I'm taking the blends palette. To start off with that darkest blue which was the shade Spellbound. Taking in this section right here and up and back and lately bringing it down in the bottom. A smaller brush to get in that smaller area here. Taking a little bit of that True Blue, which is the shade Chance. And then just taking that right on top so that Spellbound. Now I'm gonna take the shade Signs, which is that like medium true purple in this palette. And just with a light hand, kind of fill in that gap. Deepening up this bottom part with Spellbound. I'm gonna connect this top line to the teeth, to the center like parting part of the teeth. Now we'll just kind of curve down. Getting a bit more of the shade Chance, just to create more of a gradient. And really just kind of feathering that out. Those two more cracks. Now, taking a chance, I'm going to start shading some other areas of the face, some chin, jaw, and line. Taking a little bit of Spellbound, I wore my temple curves, just some of my hair I want. I'm really just doing this side first, and then I'll do this side off camera. More Spellbound, which is the darkest shade, darkest blue shade. Okay, now with a very tiny brush, I'm going to take the gray shade in the Blends palette. This is one here, it's called Intuition. And I'm gonna start to shade. Actually, I'm gonna take the black eyeshadow, which is the shade Nevermore. I need the black shade, and I'm gonna start to kind of add dimension to the little cracks in the skull. Really focusing on where like two like, cracks meet, or like kind of like the forks, the forks in the cracks. I'm also gonna add a little bit of a shadow under the bottom wing for the other side. Okay, I want to say we're pretty much done. I am going to take um, a black liner in my waterline. This is the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick. I'm actually just going to tight line that. So I'm going to curl my lashes and find the mascara. I don't really know what lashes I want to use. I have those huge, like, long ones that I used for, like, Sally. But I don't know. I feel like I want the butterfly to really the the main focus so i might just go with like a regular dramatic lash and i have blue contacts i have white contacts maybe even purple i'm not sure which ones i want to go with yet i think i'm gonna put everything on the dress the wig and then i'll kind of see what i want to do before i forget i wanted to add a little bit of a blue shading in between the teeth i'm gonna use the lightest blue which is the shade dream And blending it out even more with the clean brush. Add a little bit on this side of the teeth. Actually, I'm gonna take a little bit of chance here in this little corner and underneath. So for lashes, I'm gonna use these that I got from Amazon. Hopefully by the time I post this video, I will have my Amazon storefront up, or at least an Amazon link where I can list everything that I've gotten for 31 days because I pretty much got, well, between Spirit Halloween and Amazon 
those two. I did also thrift a lot, but Amazon had a good amount, so I will link what I can. This is a good length, good amount of drama without it covering the butterfly. I want to add the antennas coming out of the socket, but I'm scared that I'm not going to like it. And I want to use my NYX epic ink liner but it gets plugged up once it goes over like cake makeup or uh, cream makeup so the body's here i guess the antennas would come out here and then maybe here body so like and it kind of just looks like a crack I do a little like fall things at the end of the antennas that might make it look more like antennas okay it's not bad. I think that makes sense. Okay. See the bodies here. Okay, they're like asymmetrical, but with the butterflies, I don't mind it. Okay, let me add a little bit more shading to this one crack so it doesn't get mixed in with the antenna. This one here. Okay, so I'm gonna go add the contacts and everything else, and then we will reassess. Okay, and this is the finished look. Um, added the blue wig. I went with the white blind contacts. I did try blue first. Just wasn't giving what I really wanted it to give. So I went with, went with these, and I think I think it works. I think it's very spooky. It's very I don't know. I like it. I also did change the lashes. Um, I did go with the very large animated dramatic ones. I can't really see right now. I did paint um, my neck just a little bit, um, just so it's a little bit more cohesive. I didn't do a whole lot of detail. I just added like a little bit of blue eyeshadow like in the center. Uh, that was pretty much it. My dress pretty much covers my neck. I just wanted it to be a little bit, a little bit more, you know, you know together. Oh, the dress, the dress that I um, thrifted a while ago has these really fun butterfly sleeves. I think that's what I would call them. Yeah, so I think it's perfect. It has that purple part of the pattern and I feel like the wig kind of has like a purple hue to it. So I think, I think it works with the purple that we added to the skull. Um, got these uh, paper butterflies from Amazon, played around with placement. I did try the flower crown that um, I mentioned earlier, that I had from the last 31 days of Halloween. It just, it was a lot more dark purple than I remember. I, I remember it being more blue. So I just felt like it didn't, didn't really go. But yeah, so the flowers, oh my God, the flowers are actually magnetic. Um, so you could just put bobby pins in and just stick them on. Um, it took us a while to figure that out. My husband was helping me place them and um, we were, yeah, we were using the little, the little stickies that it came with. We were using just bobby pins, like going through the paper, not through the paper, but like on the paper. It wasn't until, until very, very much into the process that we figured that out. Yeah, overall, I think it, I think it looks pretty good as far as I can tell with the contacts off. I took a picture, I think with the contacts on, kind of looked to see how I would feel about it. I think I do like it. If you kind of like squint and you, you turn down brightness, it does kind of look like the butterflies are sitting in the skull. It's a little bit hard when it's a video and you're with the lights um, and the black tends to be kind of shiny, kind of ruins the illusion, but I feel like with some photo editing, you can kind of really darken that up and it will show that illusion. It really does look like the butterflies are in the eye sockets. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is actually my second butterfly look that I've ever done. The first butterfly look that I ever did was my first ever Halloween look. Um, so we've kind of come full circle. So yeah, it's kind of, that's kind of special, I think. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. And thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have already been showing me for the looks that have already come out this month. I wasn't expecting um, such, such a welcome and welcome back, really. Yeah, and it means, it really means so, so much. So thank you. That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.